Hey, we're back with another great creature video, and today we're looking at 10 pink animals. So let's get started. Number 10, Elephant Hawk Moth. The elephant hawk moth gets its common name for the caterpillar's resemblance to an elephant's trunk. Hawk moths are also known as sphinx moths because the caterpillar resembles the great sphinx of Giza when resting, with legs held off the surface and head bowed as if in prayer. The elephant hawk moth starts life as a glossy green egg that hatches into a yellow or green caterpillar. Eventually, the larva molts into a brownish-gray caterpillar with spots near its head and a backward-curving horn at the back. Fully grown larvae measure up to three inches long. The elephant hawk moth is particularly common in Great Britain, but it occurs throughout the Palearctic region, including all of Europe and Asia as far east as Japan. Number 9. Pygmy Seahorse as their name suggests, pygmy seahorses are tiny fish that are nearly indistinguishable from their habitats due to their size and extreme camouflage. Pygmy seahorses grow to an average size of about two and a half centimeters from the snout to the tip of the tail. That's about the size of a human toenail. They're found in Southeast Asia in the Coral Triangle area. They have rounded tubercles on its body that match the color and shape of their host coral. They have among the smallest home range of any fish, not venturing further than an area the size of a side plate for all their day-to-day -day activities. They don't have eyelids and are sensitive to light, so all of you ocean photographers, make a note of that. Number eight, orchid mantis. Orchid mantises are some of the best camouflagers in the animal kingdom. It has a white, semi-translucent body with colored accents on its long and slender limbs. From the right angle, they can look completely like flowers, nothing like insects. Some orchid mantises even have dark sections on their abdomens that look like the oval of a budding flower. Orchid mantises are also in possession of leg lobes that resemble flower petals. When the orchid is sitting on its haunches on top of a leaf, the leg lobes billow out like plump flower petals. Orchid mantises are carnivorous and have a diet consisting of live insects with flying insects such as butterflies and moths as the mantis's main source of food. Number seven, Namib sand gecko. The ghostly web-footed gecko is nearly translucent with a pale salmon-colored undertone and light brown stripes. They are nocturnal and have large fixed lens eyes without eyelids, which they keep clean by licking with long tongues. It has thin little legs and broad feet with webbed toes. The webs allow for the species to burrow into the soft desert sand to avoid the harsh Namibian sun and they also help the little guys to stay on top of the loose sand. The pads of the feet also have an adhesive component to help them climb and run across the soft sand. Their color provides perfect camouflage among the powdery reddish sands of the Namib Desert, their primary habitat. Number six, Loria Siajani. The Loria Siajani is also called the squat lobster they can be less than one inch to about four inches in length, depending upon the species. Squat lobsters have 10 legs. The first pair of legs are very long and contain claws. The three pairs of legs after that are used for walking. The fifth pair has small claws and may be used for cleaning gills. Squat lobsters live in oceans around the world, with the exception of the coldest Arctic and Antarctic waters. They have been recorded primarily between Indonesia and the Philippines. They can be found on sandy bottoms and hidden in rocks and crevices. They also may be found in the deep sea around seamounts, hydrothermal vents, and in underwater canyons. Number five, pink sea slug. The bottom-dwelling, jelly-bodied nudibranch 
lovingly nicknamed the sea slug, bear some of the most fascinating shapes, colors, and intricate patterns of any animal. They can grow as small as a quarter of an inch or as long as 12 inches long. Sea slugs are carnivores that slowly ply their range grazing on algae, sponges, anemones, corals, barnacles, and even other sea slugs. They derive their coloring from the food they eat, which helps in camouflage. And some even retain the foul-tasting poisons of their prey and secrete them as a defense against predators. They are found throughout the world's oceans, but are most abundant in shallow, tropical waters. Hey, while you're here, if you love seeing new videos about your favorite pets and animals, then make sure to like this video and subscribe. Okay, now where were we? Number four, roseate skimmer. The roseate skimmer is a species of dragonfly. The male of the species has a rose pink and red abdomen. Males are highly territorial, defending their territory aggressively against other male roseate skimmers that fly near. These guys have about 30,000 facets to their compound eyes, giving them nearly a 360 degree field of vision. It is native to the Americas, where its distribution extends from the United States to Brazil. Number three, Mexican walking fish. The axolotl salamander has the rare trait of retaining its larval features throughout its adult life. This condition means it keeps its tadpole-like dorsal fin, which runs almost the length of its body, and its feathery external gills. Axolotls can be quite large, reaching up to a foot in length. They are typically black or mottled brown, but pink and white varieties are somewhat common, particularly among captive specimens. Found exclusively in the lake complex of Xochimilco near Mexico City, the axolotl is sometimes referred to as the Mexican walking fish. Number two, sea anemone. A sea anemone is a predatory invertebrate with no bones that lives underwater and looks like a flower. They tend to stick to firm objects in the ocean or sea and wait for marine life to pass by to catch with their tentacles. Their tentacles have stingers which are poisonous and the tentacles guide the captured fish or other marine life into the sea anemone's mouth. Sea anemones are considered to be carnivores and can have a diameter of half an inch to six feet. And number one, roseate spoonbill. The brightly colored roseate spoonbill looks like it came straight out of a children's book with its bright pink feathers, red eyes staring out from a partly bald head, and giant spoon-shaped bill. Groups sweep their spoonbills through shallow, fresh or salt waters, snapping up crustaceans and fish. In parts of their range, especially in Florida, Roseate spoonbills are sometimes confused with another large pink wading bird, the flamingo, as both birds turn pink from the food they eat. Roseate spoonbills are highly social. They feed with each other and with other wading birds. They also nest in colonies and fly in flocks. They fly with necks outstretched to and from foraging and nesting areas along the coastal southeastern U.S. and south to South America. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Make sure to subscribe and like this video and keep your eyes open for more great animal videos coming your way.